Welcome back to Franbo. It's time to go check upstairs. A broom to fly away. Or just to clean around. A broom to take me up. Up. Fran the Flying Witch. <laughs> if only. Hmm. Could I use the broom in the other world to get over to the message in the bottle? Uh, I don't know. It's not really the same as a plank. If you try to walk on that... Mm, I mean, she is small. It could work, but it'd be pretty dangerous. A monster who likes goats. The goat looks angry. I guess he's ticklish. Or annoyed. The sisters. They look alike. Pink and blue. Complete opposites. The drawer opened. Let me see what's inside. Black candles. To light up the darkness. Hmm. Well, I've got some matches. Don't really have anywhere to use them right now, though. Red rose in a painting. Huh. Oh, looks like if I pull that, there's probably an entrance to the attic. Like one of those fold-down staircase things. Or maybe not fold-down, but come-down staircase things. There's probably a name for those things, but I have no idea what it is. Oh, a ladder! Perhaps Mr. Midnight is up there. Oh, I'm surprised she's actually able to reach it. I thought I might have to use the broom or something. Uh, well, before we go there, let's check over here. Jesus Christ, this is there? This is where they sleep? Or is this where maybe the mother sleeps? It looks like that's the mother. A mirror. But why is my reflection not there? Hmm. Suspicious? Hello? Huh. This mirror doesn't do its job. It has a little keyhole. Maybe it's just decor. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Or maybe it's not. A little keyhole. I wonder if there's a key for this one. Probably. Hmm. The perfume smells like teenagers. <laughs> Mmm, teenagers have been here. Nice stuff. Very girly. I guess I'll be very girly when I grow up. Tweezers? Tweezers. To pick up things on my little hands can't. Okay, I'm starting to get serious, like, adventure game inventory overload. Oh my god, I have so many things. I have too many things. What do I do with all the things? See anything else to pick up? Jewelry? No, 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 no. Okay. White candles everywhere. Huh. Yeah, white candles and what I picked up were black candles. Is there some significance to the color of the candles? Five black candles to light my way. This looks like a very old painting. A mommy holding two babies. I wonder... It's gotta be the, the two babies must be the sisters. Right? I'll lay down and sleep tight when I get back home. Aunt Grace has for sure put some new sheets. Ugh, these toys are so ugly. I hope they didn't hear me. I don't want them trying to catch me and kill me. Hello, doll. Who caught you? I hope this never happens to me. Ah, water all around. Water makes me feel helpless. And because I can't swim, I'll have to navigate or something. Uh, let's just not go in the water. Let's just avoid the water. Ugh, it's that monster. And so much blood. I guess I'm not the only one who can see him then. I wonder what the deal is with doll heads and roses. I guess I'll figure it out someday. 
Yeah, there's just a bunch of roses and doll heads. Are, are those really doll heads? They don't look like dolls. They look like actual human faces. Uh, can I use a blue rose on the button? No. Okay. Let's go up upstairs. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, I'm going upstairs. Uh, oh, this is probably what I need the candles for. I want to burn up my little purse. Oh, yeah. Um, hmm. Where should I use them? Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> the light works, so, uh, <clears throat> no need for candles. This thing's really fun to press for some reason. I like the sound it makes. Anyway. Just one hat. Oh. Let's see this. The sisters. They're so cute. <laughs> A scorpion. Scorpions make me nervous. They walk with their butt in the air, ready to stab you. They do also... I think there's something... Yeah, there's something rustling under there. Hmm. Foxy. Oh no. I wish I could take you out of here. What's their problem? Poor Foxy Fox. What a pretty doll. I like the hairstyle. Why are you sitting here? There are many dolls to play with. I like my own dress, but those are pretty too. I guess I don't need them. That's a big umbrella. <laughs> that is, that's a huge umbrella. Just about as tall as her. A dusty mirror and some other things. I won't put my hands inside the box. The toys in the attic always carry sadness within them. It's very understandable. Hmm, a lot of tiny stuff. Is that an angel's head? That is an angel's head inside that snow globe, isn't it? Weird stuff you can find in an attic. Bunch of records. Not in the mood for happy music, I guess. Oh, that's a dead rat. Mr. Rat, it's time to get up. I met another rat a while ago. Mr. Rat, are you tired? Sir? Huh. back to them in a minute. A bunny doll. Are you waiting for Easter? Do you lay eggs, or do you steal them from a chicken? And how do eggs become chocolate eggs? Those shoes are too big for me. Okay, well that's pretty much everything in this room except the cage and the babies, so let's take a look at the babies again. <laughs> oh, hello little babies. Who sewed you two together? It looks like it hurts. Don't cry, alright? You should smile and be nice. It's time to sleep. Hmm. There's a, a number. On the inside here. Two. Well, it's gonna have some significance, right? It must have some significance. I'm gonna write that down. Babies... Two. Is there anything I could maybe give them to make them stop crying? What would babies like? Oh, babies like tweezers, right? Babies love tweezers. No. Oh. Hmm. You know, maybe they're crying because they don't have enough sodium in their system. No. You want a crayon? Hmm. Okay, forget it. Mr. Midnight, are you here, Kitty? Meow? Hmm, no. <laughs> That's not Mr. Midnight. Mr. Midnight, don't be scared. I'm here for you. 
Fran, is that really you? Oh dear, finally. Hmm, this is obviously an imposter. It's me. Come closer, please. Let me see you. Oh, Fran, I'm so happy to see you. Eh, I don't trust you. I missed you very much. I had dreams about you. And here you are. Thank you for not giving up. I love you, my friend. Maybe it is Mr. Midnight. I love you too, Mr. Midnight, and I really missed you. Oh, dear Fran, how did you find this place? After those people took you away in the woods, I tried to follow them. But after a while, I got lost. My senses were too weak to track you. I tried to catch some food to recover, but... Something happened. Somebody took me and put me in this cage. Oh my dear, I will open this cage. We need to get to Aunt Grace. Fran, I'm very tired. I wish everything was just a bad dream. Everything is going to be fine. We just have to get out of here. Fran, can I ask you something? Sure, Mr. Midnight. What is it? Did you feel my presence in your dreams? Yes, I did. You told me to take the medicine and find you. What medicine, Fran? It wasn't really me talking to you. I think somebody was helping us get together. Every time I had dreams about you, I felt the presence of something else. Really? What kind of presence? For what I felt, it wasn't human. But it was really peaceful and kind. Well, whatever it is, it's good, and it brought us together. Fran, did you hear that? Did you? Oh, I'll see what it is. I'll try to find the key to unlock you, alright? I love you. Huh, I guess it is actually Mr. Midnight. Okay. A noise. I wonder if the sisters have showed up. Uh, let's see what the other world looks like here. Although, oh, right, I think taking me to the other world will probably just take me back to that one place, right? Oh god. She fell this time. Okay, let's try the broom just real quick. I don't think it's gonna work, but possibly. Ooh, it looks stable. Let's see. Oh, wow. Uh, you sure about this, friend? Good luck. Yeah. I didn't think so. Although, honestly, I was thinking she would slip off rather than it would break. Uh, bad piece of broom. Bad, bad. Hmm. Well, I guess that's the end of that. <gasps> oh, you scared me. I thought nobody was living here. There you are. We were waiting for you. Where is your head? My head? My head is just in the right place. You, the precious being from the other world. Who would ever believe us? Uh, what? I I'm very confused now, ladies. What are you talking about? Fran Bo, that's your name, right? And your mom and dad died tragically. Very brutal, right? And now you really want to know who killed them, right? Slow down. How is it that you know all this? We just know. We have to. We are part of this world. But don't be sad. Bad things happen to all of us. All the time. I wish nothing bad had happened to me. I feel completely lost. Don't wish for things that can't be done. Find solutions and answers. I should do that. But Mommy and Daddy will never come back. Drink some tea and eat some cake. 
that will make you feel better. Thank you, but really, I need to know, who told you these things about me? Are you scared, little Fran? Of course not. I'm just curious, that's all. I'm mostly confused. You haven't asked about your cat yet, Mr. Midnight. That's very odd for a girl who loves her cat more than anything else in the world. And yet, you look so calm after finding him in a cage, hungry and scared. Shouldn't it be us trembling in fear of you? I love him, and that is why I'm here. I didn't mean to be rude to you. You want him back? Yes, please. I really wish to have him back. He's my best friend. Before we set him free, tell us about how it is that you came here. It's a long story. I escaped from a place. A very ugly place. They open the heads of children to find out what's wrong with them. Phil told me a secret, and I was clever enough to find the way out. And then I came into the woods and met a giant ant. And I killed a bug, and it was terrible. And then I met a rat who wanted to get his hair done. And then I met a door, and that door took me here. But when I entered the door, something happened. I don't remember anything else. Ah, and I saw a real pinecone family. That was before I came here. They live in Mr. Antonio's house. They like berries. Oh, and I saw a flying insect that got stuck in trees because they have long hair. That was also in the woods. And now here I am, looking for Mr. Midnight. That was some adventure. How old are you, Fran? I'm 10 years old, but I have to turn 11 soon. And you? We are 16 years old. Much older than you, so you have to obey us. I don't want to obey you. You can't tell me what to do. You haven't even asked our names. That's not polite. And you shouldn't wander around in a house without permission. Are you stupid? A stupid little girl with no family at all. Hmm. I'm not stupid, and I do have a family. I have Aunt Grace and my kitten. Are you crying? Because if you are, you'll get in trouble. If you don't do exactly as we say, you and your cat will die. Do you understand? Do I... Do I say yes, fine, I'll do whatever you want? Or should I try to rebel? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, fine, I'll do whatever they want. I think they're the ones with the power here. Yes, ladies, I'll do whatever you need. Good. Now listen to us carefully. We need you to perform a little magic trick on us. Do you like magic? Magic is magical. Who doesn't like magic? Anyway, this magic is very powerful. It's tremendous and dangerous. Here is the recipe. Be cautious and precise, otherwise terrible things can happen. Why can't you do it yourselves? We can't do it. It would kill us. You see, we weren't like this before. We used to be two different people in two different bodies. But how is it that you are like this now? One night, a long time ago, something appeared in front of us. We thought it was an angel, but it was not. He decided that we should spend eternity together. 
He cursed us to be like this. We never understood why. We have a spell to bring him back. But we will do that later, when we are not attached to each other anymore. And show him that he is powerless, and he will regret it. That sounds terrible. I'll try my best to help you. We are going to gather some things you will need for the ritual. In the meantime, you can go and talk to your cat. But we won't set him free yet. Don't even try to open the cage. If you help us, we will help him. Thank you. I'll go and talk to him. And Fran, do you see this key? Can you imagine what can be opened with it? Can you? You silly, silly girl. <laughs> Actually, yes, I can. I think it's for the mirror. Okay, so I still need to go upstairs up here. But uh, let's take a look at this recipe. I guess that's why I have so many things in my inventory. Just different parts of this recipe. Okay, this is to summon the old lost body. Lost in darkness. Lost in tears. Your body becomes a lie through the hand of the one angel that decides to bring you sorrow. You will need the heart of a frog. Okay, I don't have that. The head of a young virgin. Uh... Okay. Hair and blood from a black cat. Oh no, Mr. Midnight! Oh god. That's not gonna be pleasant for him. A pentagram made of ashes. Okay, I've got the ashes in the, uh, the vase. The burnt body of a fox. Ew. This must be cooked all together inside a pot or cauldron with plenty of water. And when you're about to drink the potion, repeat these words. Oh god, am I gonna... Am I gonna drink this? That's gonna be disgusting. Hair and blood from a cat. Head, heart of a frog, burnt body of a fox. And I have to cook those things together and drink it? God, I hope it's them that drinks it, right? It's gotta be them that drinks it, not me, right? Yeah. It's gotta be. Good. Because that is disgusting. Let's have some more chocolate cake. Mmm. Alright, let's go talk to Mr. Midnight again. Oh, Fran, did you get the key already? No, my dear, I'm sorry. Those girls are scary. They just want to utilize me. They cut hair for me and took some blood. Oh, so they've already done it. That's awful. I think it's for the recipe. I think they're witches. Wicked witches. You know, like in the stories we like to read. Yes, you're absolutely right. I don't know what to do. I don't know, Fran. What did those girls tell you? They told me they weren't attached to each other before. And that they will get revenge against the one who did this to them. And they also showed me a key. I'm pretty sure it's for this cage. They have the evil inside. I mean, maybe that someone had its reason. Hmm. I guess we have to fight evil with evil. There must be something. Something that they are really afraid of. I don't know. I'll see what I can find. See you soon, my dearest. Are you gonna appear every time I come down? No. You little creeper. Oh, by the way, am I supposed to take the head of the fox? No. I guess I need the body of a fox, right? Alright, let's go up over here. I also, I also need the head of a virgin. 
And, uh, well, I've got every single body part I could possibly need here, except the head. Also, I have no idea if they're actually a virgin. The stairs end up on a wall. Maybe that was the door I made, and now it disappeared. I'll have to find another way out. Oh. Can't actually go that way. Uh... It's him again. But I haven't taken my pills. Well, he opened the window. Thank you. But who is he? Oh god, I'm gonna have to kill the frog and take its heart. Oh no. A rusty old bicycle. In the middle of an island. I don't think it would take me very far. There's nothing but water around this house. A big, big rock. I'll leave it there. A long, woody plank. I could do something with it. Oh, I can use that for the message in the bottle. Yes, 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 yes. Rest in peace, broom. 1944 to 1944. Hey, you. Y yes? Who's speaking? Me. I'm a toad. I have to tell you something. Yes? What is it? You're in great danger. Don't trust the girls. Why do you say that? Look, girl. I'm a toad. And I know I can swim away from this place. But they won't let me. Every time I try to get out of here, I magically come back. This house is like a huge magnet. A toad and cat magnet. They love us, but not to give us love. Just to use us. Don't trust them. That's terrible. That's why my kitty is here, then. They gave you a recipe for some kind of magic, right? Y yes, they did. Did you see the dead girl in one of the rooms? Well, that can be you if you try to do it. She tried, but she did it wrong. But what should I do then? I'm not a clever toad, but if I were you, I would be creative. Huh, creative. I'll try to do my best. And girl, please save us all. I really want to get out of here. Okay, so it looks like I don't have to kill the toad, thankfully. Uh, so I need something to fight back against the girls. Well, I've got a knife. Moonlight on the water. You are so beautiful and calm. I always feel like the moon is following me. I wonder if the moonlight does the same job as sunlight. Oh, hi! Doubters need the truth on paper. Hmm, that must be a hint. My sister is trying to catch me, but I ran away. I'm scared. Would you help me? I have a monster inside my head. Hmm. What can I do to help you? Would you like a rose? your head for no reason? No. Doubters? I guess some people believe you when it's written down. But what does it mean? Who wrote this? I have papers, yes, but what truth? Oh, it's gotta be the message in the bottle, right? It's gotta be. Pink roses. Ow! I pricked my little finger. Bad roses.
Yeah, let's go get that message. Okay, and then probably just cut it down with a knife. There we go. I was about to be angry with you, but now I'm just sad. Well, that died quickly. Oh, that burned. Why? There's no fire. I can't touch the bottle. It really burns. Hmm, it's coated with like nasty stomach acid stuff. Okay, um... Tweezers? There we go. Oh, I got the paper. <laughs> this is so exciting. Alright, let's take a look. Revealing the true soul. Ooh. The world hides the truth from you. Work your soul through life, and you'll understand the purpose of this act. If you try to corrupt this essence, your soul will be hidden and never see the face of truth. To destroy an impure soul or give freedom to those who are trapped, you will need a blood from the executor of the ritual. Okay, so that'd be me. And hair from the person you want to bewitch. Hmm. So it looks like you don't need these. These are crossed out. Or is it saying you only need these? Because if you only need these, then I have them. I've got all of them. Well, anyway. Draw a pentagram with the ashes inside the black and white square. Put a lighted black candle on every point of the pentagram, fill a cauldron with water, and put the other elements in it. Boil. Pour over the person you want to be witch, and repeat these words while you walk around the pentagram. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what the crossing out means. I don't know if that's just a list of, like, what they have, like, check I've got this, check I've got that, or it's saying don't use those things. But if it's saying don't use those things, then this is a pretty limited ritual. This blood and hair. And it doesn't even make any sense, because the directions mention drawing a pentagram with ashes. And so if you don't even have any ashes to do that with, then yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, this is more magic. To destroy evil. Uh, I really should do this instead. But how can I get the hair from the girls? Yes. I have to trick them, but how? Good question. The frog died. It's not good to eat bottles. Can I do anything with the frog? Nope. Okay, so I need to trick the girls and get their hair. Hmm. I don't even know where the girls are. They went out to get stuff for the ritual. I mean, they can't be far, though, right? This island is, like, ten feet long. Hmm, what if we go back to the bedroom? Is there, like, a hairbrush or something? No. Anything with hair in it? On the bed? No. Hmm. <laughs> Anything I can do with the babies? Uh, they're so creepy. say to you, Mr. Midnight? No. 
Ah, just the same dialogue as before. Oh god. Get me out of here. Stop talking! Mm. Okay, well, I'm gonna get through this dialogue and then... Uh, I'm gonna find what I'm missing and I'll be right back. Okay, well, you know what? Maybe I just need to start doing the ritual the way they want me to do it. And then I'll be able to get their hair. So let's start maybe with putting the ashes down. Wow, this worked out great. Very nicely done, Fran. Alright, let's do this. I'll get my kitty back. Whoops. So let's take a look at this. So, got the ashes. Mm -hmm. Put a lighted black candle on every point of the pentagram. Alright, let's do that. Check. I'll put one candle here and the others over there. Let's go ahead and light them up. There we go. Pretty fire. Candles lit. Fill a cauldron with water. Okay, um, I don't... Oh wait, there's a cauldron. Oh, I'll keep this to cook a lovely dinner for my kitty. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, I think I should have water in the pot first. Oh, good idea. Turn the faucet on. Fill her up. Water, water in the pot. Ready to cook. Oh, I forgot to turn on the fire. Oh, it's windy. The match won't stay lit. Oh, that's so cool. You have to actually close the window to be able to light it. That's a really cool little small detail. Okay, there we go. Fill a cauldron with water, put the other elements in it. Okay, so it needs... Blood, well, it needs blood from me. Uh, <laughs> do I just choose the knife on myself? Oh god, oh, Jesus! Uh... It's actually an inventory item. That is so gross. Okay, put it in there. Uh -huh. There goes my blood. I hope it tastes good. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay, blood, check. C candles, check. Ashes, check. Uh, blue bloomed moonlight rose. Check. Goodbye, blue rose. In the pot now. I believe salt and pepper. Yeah, next is salt and pepper. And then hair for the person you want to be witch. Salt and the pepper into the magical soup. Okay, I've got everything but the hair. Yeah, so I need hair. I need hair. Do they come back, is what I want to know? Because they said they're going out to get stuff for the ritual. Are they back now? I guess not. Hmm. I feel like, you know, they have like a hairbrush or something with some of their hair in it. Depends how much you need, but I feel like finding at least a single strand of hair wouldn't be too hard. Hmm. I've got to do something with paper. I think I have to do something with the ghost girl in the other world. I feel like it's something to do with her. But uh, I don't know what. Let's go out the window and think. My sister is trying to catch me, but I ran away. Scared, would you help me? I have a monster inside my head.
none of these seem relevant to her. I don't think baking soda's gonna do it. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, there's something I'm definitely missing. Oh, wait a minute, the typewriter. That's right, there's a typewriter. And the whole uh, needs to be on paper thing. Okay, what can I write? Uh, I guess I could write, but there's no paper. And a good writer has to know what to write about first. Okay. Well, I've got paper. Uh, it's kind of got stuff on it already, though. But, uh, let's see, can I use it? Okay, there we go. Yes. <laughs> you will need hair from your head. Gotcha. I'm so clever. And that totally does not stand out as if it's just been added recently. Nope, not at all. Not at all. Okay, have the sisters come back yet? There you are. Fran, here are the materials you'll need. Have you studied the ritual? Oh yes, I've studied it very closely. Oh god, that's the heart and the fox and all that in that bloody bag, ew. Yes, but I'll need one more... But I'll need... Uh, but I'll need more time. I can't remember all the words. Well, learn them fast. Let us know when you're ready. Psst, Carl. I think you need help getting rid of this bag. I can do that for you. But I may need it. No, you don't. Trust me. If we want to get out of here, this bag must disappear. I'll take it. You didn't see me. Bye. <laughs> oh my god, what a cool frog. You're awesome, little frog. Or toad? Are you a toad or a frog? I don't remember. Anyway. <clears throat> I need some hair. Look, ladies. There's something missing. I couldn't find your hair in the bag. Hair, you say? There's no hair needed. We know that. But look for yourself. It's written down there, in the recipe. That's true. How could we miss that? All right. There. Now get prepared. <laughs> I'll let you know when I'm ready. Yes. I'm up to devilish machinations. I don't even know if I pronounce that correctly, but it sounds funny and I like it. Machinations. Dark hair from the twin's head. Toss it on in. Now the hair. Good. I should show the girls that the potion is ready. I wonder if I actually need to know the words. No, surely I don't, right? Nah. No way. Oh, girls! Everything is ready. Let's go to the kitchen. Good. Let's go. Please sit down and close your eyes, ladies. <laughs> okay, it says to pour it on the head, right? Pour over the person you want to bewitch and repeat these words while you walk around the pentagram. Okay, yeah, hopefully I don't need to know those words. Here we go! And now I'll say the words. I'm not gonna try to read that. <laughs> Wait a second. That is not the right spell. You tricked us.
Ooh. Well, that's probably for the best. What have I done? Oh my goodness, this is not right. I, I don't know, I think that might have been right. The key. Now I can free my dear kitty. I'm nervous. Now I have to get my kitty back. Mm, hold on, before I do... How are you doing? Did you find a solution already? I did. Uh, that's not actually reflected here, though, so... Uh, no, go now, bye. I just wanted to say thank you for the help, but... Alright. Also, is the ghost girl still here? Yep. Yeah, I don't think this key is for my cat. I think this key is for the mirror. What is it, Fran? Open the cage. I can't. The key doesn't fit. Did you see another keyhole somewhere? Yes, I saw one. I'll see if it fits there. I'll be waiting. Hurry up. Yeah, I knew it. That was too easy. Too damn easy. The key was for this keyhole. And what's that? A puzzle? No, not a puzzle. Oh god, Mr. Midnight, you're never getting out. Okay, what am I even looking at? I guess I have to open this thing, but how? This must be part of the machine. I can't move it. Mm, okay, some sort of sliding block thing. Oh, I have to move the gear pieces into place, don't I? <laughs> yeah, I do. Okay, well, you know what? I think I'm going to end this episode here and tackle that puzzle in the next one. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.